All right, let's talk about troubleshooting. The troubleshooting section of Intune, it's gonna help you identify the users and devices out there to help resolve the issues with the devices, um, whether it's the device management, app deployment, policy enforcement, uh, gives you insights and diagnostic information on the device. So you can troubleshoot some of the problems that may be coming up uh, by looking at the device and seeing if everything's working as it should. So let's take a look. So from the main Intune dashboard, let's go down to troubleshooting and support. So from here, this is where we search for a user. So we have a test user and we search them, grabbed them, and now we see the information. We see their email, their user principal name. So these are some of the main things, right? The user status, the accounts enabled, Intune is licensed. Again, diagnostic information that we can use to try to figure some things out. We have a summary, which shows us, hey, do we have devices going on? I have one device enrolled and it's turned off. Um, what roles does it have? None. Um, app protection policies, applications. I have one application installed on it, but there's two compliance errors on it, but it is compliant. So again, if we see that it's compliant, but there's two errors, you can click on that and it'll dial down to find out what's going on. There's a compliance policy. And then if you click on it, you can see what the error is. So the error is, has a compliance policy assigned? No, it's not applicable. So that is where our issue is. So it doesn't have it assigned, but it's compliant because probably the compliance policy says that if it has not gotten a compliance policy, keep it as compliant is probably what's going on. Now we can click on devices to see the devices that this user has to see if there's any issues. Again, all green so far, we can see the device type, the operating system version, the last time it checked in. All right, and we can click on the device if we need to. And we'll do that here in a minute. But groups, I can see what groups that this user is in. They're in a dynamic group for all users, but assigned to all the others. So we can test to make sure, hey, maybe there's conflicts with some of the groups getting assignments. We can see what policies they have enabled on them. So there's folder access, firewall, Windows default policy. What applications do they have? So we don't see anything in there. App protection policies, nothing. Updates, nothing. We have the ellipsis where we can see enrollment restrictions and diagnostics. So diagnostics requires a couple other settings, but that's nice. So let's jump back to devices. So since it's an enrolled device and joined and it's listed here, I can click on it. And when I click on it, we get the full management features of Intune. So I can retire that device, wipe the device. I can delete the device from the system. I can sync it. So if we push a new policy or configuration, I can come in here and it'll sync that policy right away instead of waiting. I can restart the device, collect diagnostics, give it a fresh start, and again, ellipsis, an autopilot reset. Maybe we need to do a quick scan or even a full scan to see what's going on virus-wise. I can update the security intelligence, rotate the admin password, BitLocker key rotation. I can even rename the device. Newly, I can locate the device if they said the device is missing. Now, the one thing I don't have enabled is the remote assistance. So for TeamViewer, if you have that set up to join in to your Intune account, then this would be enabled, um, but I don't have TeamViewer, so it's not enabled. Now, over on the left, I can also see a lot of other items. I can see the hardware, what's going on on this device, how much storage does it have, how much space, type of device it is, MAC address of it, Wi-Fi address, I can discover the apps that are on it, all of the apps that are on it, that are listed on there to see if anything is uh, fishy and that's the way it's supposed to be. Device compliance to find out the policy that's on it. And that's where the error is. Device configuration to find out if there's any configuration profiles that are on it. All right, so we have some. I can see the app configurations, local admin password, all right, so there's no none shown. Recovery keys, 
So there's no BitLocker recovery key found for this device. User experience. So this is a great analytical tool that you can use when helping that user too, to find out their endpoint analytics score. You know, what's the startup like? What's the application reliability? Can they work from anywhere, right? Do they have enough of those features enabled? Um, maybe the startup performance to find out how long does it take for that device to boot up? Is there something going on with startup? Application reliabilities, work from anywhere. And the device timeline to find out, you know, how it's been acting over time. Device diagnostics, again, if you have it set up, there's no attempts found to, to search it. I don't have that set up. Group membership to find out what the device is enrolled in and it's enrolled in the test device group. What about managed apps, apps that are pushed out? Ah, the Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10, that's installed, which means I, I have Office on there. Uh, filter evaluation and enrollment. How is it enrolled? So it's default enrollment has succeeded. So it is enrolled, it was all good. So it lets you see a whole lot of information that you can use to help troubleshoot and help the end user see what's going on the best that you can and see if there's any conflicts. Uh, but also one of the nice things about the troubleshooting and support area too, is this is how you can help others, but sometimes as an administrator, you need help too. So by clicking on help and support, you can actually get some information that helps you learn, right? So you can find information, you can contact supports uh, and look for other information that are out there. So it's a nice area to help with uh, the admin to troubleshoot issues and to give support as needed.